Hey guys, what's up? Billy Crayoni here, and we thought we'd do a little video talking about our favorite moments of 2014 or 2014 or however people want to call it, you know? But anyways, um, some of my favorite moments, some, the kids got some too, they'll share, but for me personally, let me do mine first. I'm in the middle. Okay. <laughs> um, one of my highlights from 2014 is meeting one of my idols, Howard Jones. I've been a long time fan of Howard Jones since New Song and What About Love. No, What Is Love? What Is Love? What About Love? I'm thinking of heart. But anyways, um, Howard Jones it was a huge inspiration to me as a teenager. I remember my first song that I wrote was called Teen Power, and I actually used the instrumental of his song called The Chase, which is the B-side to the 45 No One Is To Blame. And I used to write lyrics to go with that music. Performed it in high school talent show and won first place. How cool is that? And then another uh, thing I did in reference with Howard Jones is I entered a contest in a teenage pregnancy prevention type thing and I had to write a song and then <coughs> perform it live and I did the two keyboards I had my hair going up mohawk wise as Howard you know I look like a long lost brother of Howard Jones you know and needless to say that was fun as well but um the Howard Jones experience was definitely my hi highlight for 2014 and then also um let me see, another one, um, well, of course, meeting Tom Bailey from the Thompson Twins. That was pretty cool as well. But, um, you know, Salt and Pepper, Gloria, the typical people that I'm normally with. You guys know me, you know who my friends are, but Howard Jones was the first time I ever met him, and I got to tell him how much he meant to me and everything. And, you know, I, I wrote a story on Facebook before I met him. I tagged him in it, and it's, it's awesome to know that he actually read it. And when he met me and I was telling him, he's like, oh, yeah, I read about you. I read that story, da, da, da. That made me feel good. That's a day that I'll never forget. So he knows who I am. And he was nice enough to sign all my records and CDs. Not all, because I have a ton of stuff, but everything that I brought with me, he signed it. So that was really cool. And then, um, okay guys, what were some of your favorite moments from 2014? My favorite moment was when we went to New York City. Okay, we went to New York City this month, beginning of December, to see the Christmas sights and everything like that. What did you like in New York City? The M&M store, the Disney store, and Toys R Us. Typical kid stuff. <laughs> the M&M store, Toys R Us, and what was it? The, the Disney, Disney store. store. Yeah, that stuff was fun. That was a, wow. My favorite thing in the Disney store was the Lion King there. Lion King? What about at Macy's? What happened at Macy's? Oh, we, yeah. we saw the real Santa. When we walked in the door, um, Santa said, Hey, there's my fellows. He knew their names. He said their names, and the kids were like, he knew our names and we didn't even get a chance to talk to him yet. He knew our names. He knew their names. Anyways, um, what was one of your favorite moments in 2014? Um, when we were in Easter, when we were um, hunting in Easter hunt. Easter egg hunt? Yeah. What was, about it? <laughs> we were doing this bonus. I mean, we found like a couple of um, eggs. Easter was came inside it. And Wilbur found a, a bonus one that was... And our boots that. Oh yeah, he did. Right, the one that had money in it. Yeah, the one that two bucks in it. Because y'all had candy in it, but then he found one that had um. Two dollars. Yeah, that was a fun thing. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a big Easter thing like that again, right? Maybe. Find a lot of Easter eggs and go hunting. And another one of my favorite moments is when we took that ship to the islands in Boston. Remember that? Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah, the islands are deserted. There's only like one thing there. It's like a. Uh, information type thing but the rest of the island is deserted there's nothing on it so all you can do really is just walk the paths and go searching for bugs or whatever you know and then there's the beach hanging out on the beach they made sand castles and they had fun I remember that clearly remember we, we found shells too shells and there was jellyfish everywhere when we were on the ship going to the island you could see jellyfish floating around it and we got there on the shore and on the shoreline where the water is you could see a whole bunch of them and when we went on the boat, on the top of the boat, they were going fast and we got scared. He got scared. <laughs> the, salt water, the salt water went in my face. The salt water went in your face. <laughs> and it was fun over there too. Next year we're going to an, the, island. A, an island, but an island that has wild animals. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Something to look forward to this summer. This coming summer. Where else are we going this summer? Um, Oh, Fort Lauderdale. Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. Going to Fort yeah. Lauderdale. For five and days. 
Yeah. And we're going to Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia, yep, yeah, to see my brother. So, we'll be doing some traveling this summer. We're going to have fun. But, um, anyways, if you guys have any highlights from 2014 that you want to share with us, comment below. Let us know what you did that was so hot and stays in your mind. Like, it was like the ultimate thing for 2014 that really made your year. Anyways, I don't know if we'll do another video before tomorrow night. So, Happy New Year!